Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, November 11th, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it, give God praise today because he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. And he is worthy of all of our worship. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Philippians. Chapter number 3 and it's verse number 15. Scripture says, Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything... Ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Friends, what Paul was talking about here, it may seem confusing when you just look at it in that frame, but when you look at the rest of the verses, it's going to make better sense. But what Paul is teaching us here, and what Paul is asking us to do, is to look at ourselves in the way that God looks at us, in the way that Jesus looks at us. In the previous verses here, Paul is, is talking about what it means to follow Jesus. He he's, he tells us at the beginning of chapter 3, uh, he, he lists his accomplishments of how he was a member of the tribe of Benjamin and how he was a, a Hebrew of Hebrews, of how he w- was a Pharisee, a religious leader. He knew the Old Testament. And he's saying all these things. He says in verse, uh, let me find it, in verse number 8, He says, Doubtless, and I count all things but loss, and for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. He's saying everything I had before my conversation, before I met Jesus, everything I had before I gave my life to Jesus, I counted as a loss, I counted as nothing but crap. That's what dung means here. And then he goes on here, and starts talking about how he's trying to attain the righteousness of God, of how he's trying to to change his life, to live the life that God has for him. And he comes down here in verse number 14 and says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. He's saying, I press toward the mark. That's present tense. He's not saying, he says in verse 13, he says, I count not myself to have apprehended, apprehended the prize of the high calling of God. He hasn't reached it yet. He's still pressing on day by day, trying to grow and trying to mature and trying to become the person that God wants him to be. And then he says here, let us therefore as many as be perfect or as many as be mature, be thus minded. What does he mean by that? He's saying that we have to have the mindset to know and be mature enough to know that where we are right now today is not the ultimate prize that God has for us. We need to continue growing. We need to continue pressing on toward the mark that God has for him. The problem comes in is when we start thinking, well, I've been a Christian for 60 years. I've been a Christian for 40 years. Surely I'm mature in where I need to be right now. But living the Christian life is a continual growth process. And we can never quit growing. we got to continue growing in our faith. He says, as many as be perfect, as many as be mature, let us be thus minded. Thus minded being uh, that I haven't got where I need to be and I need to keep going and keep growing to be the person God wants me to be. Friends, do you have that mindset today? Are you growing each and every day of your Christian life? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, www.myscripturelinks.com.